r slash ask reddit, what's a fanbase that scares the hell out of you? The fanbase is of serial killers. Kira. I mean, I understand, he just wants to live a quiet life. Anyone that makes being a fan so much part of their identity that not liking, let alone disliking, their idol is a personal insult and calls for attack, whether it's the beehive, attacking Becky, politicians, k-pop, sports figures, anybody. Beyonce's fan base calling themselves the beehive is great, they follow their queen and have a hive mentality, probably read lots of buzzfeed articles too. K-pop stands take the crazy fan thing to a whole other level. Yes, I'm Korean and have had people try to befriend me date me speak terrible Korean to me get angry at me when they learn I don't know some pop group because I'm betraying my heritage. Very not fun. Your heritage. LOL. Ah yes. The great history of K-pop. Our fandom for insert pop group here has been passed down in our family for generations. The fans in webtoons comment section. I just read the new chapters on my webtoons and bounce. Went there once. Never again. Ducking yes. I thought I was the only one scrolling past the cringe. Webtoons are great. Comic creators are wizards. Comment section is just a different ducking realm altogether. I read webtoon romances because romance is my favorite genre and those comment sections get real sexual real fast. I get that insert main character's name here is hot and muscular, but when every single top comment is about a freaking drawing of muscles instead of something constructive or funny I get mad. It's okay, you can say Sub-Zero. Certain pop fandoms but not all, some of them are pretty peaceful, I just feel bad for the idols they admire. It seems like the fans control their lives. Actually, it goes much deeper than that. Some guy in the UK named Dolly London actually paid over $100,000 to resemble Jimin, a member of the popular pop group BTS. Just think about that for a moment. A guy actually paid a tenth of a million dollars to look like another person. Something about that is just deeply psychologically disturbing to me. Too bad he looks nothing like his idol Mayo. Not sure if it's a fan base but that weird baby monkey thing on YouTube where a bunch of random people comment harsh things in the comment section of baby monkey videos. It honestly scares me how normal some people can seem but partake in activities such as these. I must be out of the loop. What on earth? On YouTube there's some sort of sick cult of animal cruelty that for some reason focuses on monkeys. Particularly baby monkeys. You probably haven't heard of it because YouTube do a good deal of censoring bad videos that even gain the slightest bit of traction. But some googling of YouTube monkey torture will bring you to news articles. Undertale fangirls. I used to be in there and it was terrifying how many entitled kids on there were talking about killing people and not in the actual game. Yep, yeah, the fanbase is terrible. However the game is amazing. It's a shame that the loud minority is how they are. Yep, yeah, I love the game and the characters and the way it works but holy crap there's some pretty toxic people in there. Jake Paul is imagine being trampled to death being trampled to death by a bunch of 11 year olds screaming dab on them haters. How did he even get famous though I don't get it. I stumbled across one of his videos one day and was thinking how the duck did this guy get so rich. I'm a huge Hamilton fan but that fan base is crazy. I've liked musicals my whole life. So when that one blew up, it was like seeing a glimpse at the 90s early 2000s Broadway fandoms again. Though I bet you Rent and Lemis had even weirder fan bases. The Lemis fandom is actually pretty chill. At least from what I've seen from afar. They just all sit in the corner crying about the barricade boys and dunking on Victor Hugo. The Phantom of the Opera fandom though. Some people are still out here standing Eric the Phantom in 2020. Andrew Lloyd Webber writing Love Never Dies like he actually had some sort of authority to write such a dumber sequel didn't help. Had to look at the other comments as I was very confused for a moment. Thought you were referring to the F1 driver. Any IRL shipping fandom has rabies. If you tell me you write fanfic about legit real people in all seriousness I'm preparing the holy water. Very true. I'm a fan of bands like My Chemical Romance and Panic. At the disco and the amount of shipping I see is just so weird and in some places on the internet it's almost normalized which is really creepy. To be fair. Brendan Urie leaned into it pretty hard back in the day. 
His ecky anime stage gay shenanigans with Ryan were legendary, and they were definitely part of the appeal. A lot of fans in the YouTube beauty community scare me with how fast they will cancel someone or even try to ruin their lives over the smallest thing with no evidence. Those girls who are into school shooters that's terrifying. They need serious therapy Tumblr is a scary place. Any of y'all remember last year when that girl disappeared from her home in Florida. Flew to Colorado. Bought a gun and was then manhunted because she was believed to have been planning a Columbine anniversary shooting or something. Brinnies. Adult my little pony fans are so bad. Especially the male ones. I'm personally more a fan of the older generations and I can't tell you how many men tried to invalidate my opinion on the basis that the older show sucks you're not a real fan if you don't like the new show. I'm so sorry that I was a little girl invested in the franchise for little girls you don't have to be so mean about it Omeo. I have no idea how this hasn't been said. Harry Potter obsessed fans. The fanfic. The constant worship of JK Rowling. Pottermore. What house are you though? The new age horoscope. The idolization of Snape and Lily. If you criticize one thing, or mention that you haven't read the books 50 times, they just go ham on you. And I say this as a person with a Harry Potter tattoo. Also Ed Sheeran fans. I've been to two concerts and Honest to Duck was terrified for my well-being. These girls crush people. At one of the concerts, about two years after Plus came out, security had taped one by one meter squares on the floor and you had to stand in your box or you were removed. Security walked through each row and column to enforce this before he started. The crowd was so unruly during passengers performance that Ed himself had to threaten not to come out. Once they announced Ed was about to come out, they pushed forward to the point where security had to lift girls over the front barriers to protect them from being crushed. I actually feel safer in offspring and tool crowds, at least they usually respect your boundaries. There was a girl in my high school who would go to school dressed up in full on Harry Potter robes freshman year. She also shipped incest and was kind of a beach. I feel bad for judging the entire Harry Potter fandom because of her, but she ruined the fandom for me. Tokyo Hotel from back in the day. Today I learned Heidi Klum is married to the brother with the dreadlocks. Steven Universe. As someone who actually enjoyed the show, I agree. The fandom around this show is incredibly toxic. It's so disheartening because it's a very cute show with nice messages. I'm not a huge fan or anything but I've seen a few episodes and I wish it had been around when I was in the target demographic as an alternative to the rude kids entertainment of the time. But then again, I think a certain type of nasty person is attracted to that. Steven Universe. The Unicorn Trend. Yoga. Plur. Anything that stands as shorthand for nice. Kind. Cute. Wholesome. Or positive as adopted and used as a shield by the meanest. Most judgmental. Most negative bullies to justify their raging a hillary. I can't be a jerk because I dress like a cupcake every day and share positivity porn on Facebook. Now if you'll excuse me. I need to go tell a 12 year old on the internet to kill themselves because they wrote fanfic I didn't like about a show for toddlers that I inexplicably have based my identity around as an adult. James Charles Sisters. The cartoon fanbase. No, I don't mean the anime fanbase, which has a toxic side as well. I mean the American cartoon fanbase. From driving a Steven Universe fan artist to near suicide, to sending so many death threats to Cartoon Network's headquarters that the president had to resign. I say that the cartoon community needs to be quarantined. I'm a firearm enthusiast myself, but the amount of enthusiasts who joke seem to fantasize about having standoffs with the ATF makes me feel really dirty. Anime lovers. They scare the hell out of me, and I'm one of them. The Voltron fandom. When I used to use Tumblr I just wanted to find cute fanart of a show I was into. I ended up losing interest and not finishing the series because the fans were so toxic. Jojo Siwa. All those kids it's like an army of 8 11 year olds and the thought of that is terrifying to me. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.